This is the only and the best strategy that you need to get a perfect score on the cube counting section of the PAT. And it's the same strategy that I used when I took the DAT to get nearly a 99th percentile on the PAT section. So let's dive into it. So for the cube counting section of the PAT, what they're gonna be giving us is a diagram like this of a bunch of cubes. And they're gonna ask how many of the cubes have X number of their exposed sides painted, which really just means how many exposed sides do they have that's not touching another cube or covered by you know, a different surface. So for example, here we have one, two, three on the side, and then four that's not touching another cube because this surface cannot be painted since it's touching another cube. This, this one we have three, for example. And what you wanna do for this section to really go about it efficiently and effectively is one, you wanna draw yourself these little T, these little crosses or T's. I recommend giving yourself a few for each different set of cubes, you'll be using one of them. And on this side, you wanna write zero, one, two, three, four, five. And you wanna do that for each of these. And this is designated how many sides of a cube can be painted. And then we're also gonna always put a total. And ideally you'd be doing all this on your whiteboard once you're done with the science section of the exam because this PAT section is gonna come after your survey of natural sciences. However, during the break between the survey of natural sciences and the PAT section, you actually are not allowed to write anything on your whiteboard, take notes, do this, none of that. It's not allowed. So I recommend once you're done with the survey of natural sciences section and then you know you're gonna to click to the break, before you do that, just start wiping down your whiteboard and then putting in the new information, like these little charts and um, the essentially four by four boxes I recommend for the hole punching section, but that's a different video for a different time. So once you actually approach these questions, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fill out this total. And this is the total amount of cubes that are in the diagram. So I recommend having a very systematic approach to this and following that same systematic approach every single time. So it pretty much becomes second nature. What I always like to do is I like to go from left to right or whatever seems easiest. You could also go right to left, but something that's very systematic so you don't miss a cube. So here I'll go left to right. I'll go like one cube, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is underneath, nine, 10, 11, 12 is underneath, and we have 13. So we have 13 total cubes. And now I know when I get to tallying, how many cubes have zero sides painted or one side painted or two sides, the end, I should have a total count of 13. So we'll go through this. Again, I'll start left to right because we want it to be very systematic. So for this cube, we have one, two, three, four sides painted. Here we have one, two, three. We have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three. That's because we have a cube underneath here that's that's covering this side that goes kind of there. Then we have one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, and five. This top one, we have one, two, three. The bottom one, we have one, two. Here we have one, two. Here we have one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. And then when I count these, I have three, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is my total. So I know I didn't skip any over when I was counting it. And then what we do is we can answer the questions now. How many cubes have three sides painted? Right here, we can say five, all right? And we'll see, so we go on to the next question. You're gonna have the exact same diagram except it's gonna ask you how many cubes have two of their sides painted? And right here, we have three. So we'll just answer three. We've already done the work and we'll move on and we see it's exact same problem, the same diagram, and now it's asking how many have four sides? And we already have that answer right there, it's four. And just like that, 
we're done. We can move on to the next set of questions. This is going to be the fastest and most accurate way to always go through it. And we'll go through another example to show you that. Before we go to the next question, if you're signing for the DAT or about to start signing for the DAT, and you want some tips and tricks to greatly improve your score, not just in the PAT section, but in all sections, so you don't have to retake the DAT over and over again, I put together my tips and tricks for all sections of the DAT into an absolutely free guide for you that you can download at predenting.com forward slash DAT guide. It's absolutely free. It's something I wish I had when I was in your shoes, and I made it to help you out with this journey so that you don't have to retake the exam multiple times or get a score that you're not happy with. Get it for free, predenting.com forward slash DAT guide. So here's our second cube counting exercise, and we're gonna do the same thing where we start with the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have a total of 18. So I know once I tally everything, I should have a total of 18. And I'm gonna to get to going left to right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 One, two. This is always, when the cubes act like this, it's always gonna be five. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And we're gonna have two here on the bottom. I always like to go top, bottom and then top. And then here we have four. And then here we have five, right? Cause it's always, it's the same looking cube. We always have five there. I'll go to the next one. One, two, three. And then we have one, two down here. And then here we have that same looking one. We know that's gonna be a five. And I have one, two, three, four. So when I count these, I should have 18. Seven, 11, 15, 18. There we go. How many have two? Four. Go to the next question. How many have four sides exposed, painted? Four again. Go to the next question. Just kidding. That is the last question. <laughs> so there you go. This is going to be the fastest way to solve these questions. So this is really a three-part strategy. Part one, you draw your T and you label it zero through five and your total. Part two, you count the total number of cubes. And part three, you go cube by cube in a very systematic way that you should repeat over and over and over again, and then just do your tallies. And this is gonna make it so everything is just second nature, it's super easy for you, you never make a mistake. Don't overcomplicate things, break it down into systems that you repeat over and over and over again, and you're gonna do amazing on the PAT. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more helpful pre-down videos, and watch this next video on how to ace the hole punching section of the PAT.